China's military strategy has seen significant evolution, particularly with its focus on anti-access area denial capabilities aimed at countering U.S. naval power in the Pacific. Central to this strategy is the DF-21D, the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile, often dubbed the carrier killer. This advanced missile underscores Beijing's commitment to deterring U.S. intervention in regional conflicts, especially in sensitive areas like the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. The DF-21 series, introduced in the early 1990s as the successor to the Asian Dongfeng-2, represents a significant leap in China's missile technology. The original DF-21 was developed to replace the Soviet R-2, a short-range ballistic missile, marking the transition from licensed Soviet technology to indigenous innovation. Over the years, China has continuously upgraded the DF-21, resulting in several variants tailored to different strategic roles. The DF-21D variant, which entered service in 1996, is particularly notable for its role in anti-ship warfare. This solid fuel road mobile missile boasts a two-stage propulsion system allowing it to deliver a 600 kg payload up to a range of 2,150 km. The DF-21D is equipped with maneuverable re-entry vehicles and advanced terminal guidance systems, ensuring high accuracy with an estimate circular euro probable of about 20 meters. The DF-21D plays a critical role in China's A2AD strategy aimed at preventing or delaying U.S. military intervention in the region. By targeting U.S. carrier strike groups, the DF-21D threatens the primary sources of U.S. naval power projection. This missile, alongside the long-range DF-26 worm killer, extends China's ability to strike key U.S. military installations and assets across the Western Pacific. To effectively employ the DF-21D, China has developed sophisticated targeting systems. The launch of satellites provides real-time synthetic aperture radar and optical imagery, enhancing the missile's ability to locate and track moving targets like aircraft carriers. These satellites combine with over-the-horizon radar and other reconnaissance assets from an integrated network that supports the DF-21D's precision strike capability. The deployment of the DF-21D has significant implications for U.S. naval strategy. The U.S. Department of Defense acknowledged the missile's initial operating capability in 2010, highlighting its potential to challenge U.S. naval dominance. The ability of the DF-21D to target moving vessels from long range, land-based launchers poses a substantial threat to U.S. carrier strike groups, necessitating adjustments in U.S. naval tactics and strategy. While the DF-21D is a cornerstone of China's A2AD strategy, it is part of a broader suit of capabilities designed to enhance China's regional dominance. The DF-26 missile, with its 4,000 km range, can target U.S. bases as far away as Guam, further extending China's reach. Additionally, China's growing naval capabilities including advanced surface ships and submarines, complement its missile forces, creating a multi-layer defense network. In conclusion, the DF-21D represents a significant milestone in China's military modernization, 
embodying a shift towards more sophisticated and strategically focused weapon systems. As China continues to enhance its A2AD capabilities, the DF-21D remains at the forefront of its efforts to deter U.S. intervention and assert its regional dominance. Understanding the technical capabilities and strategic implementations of the DF-21D is crucial for assessing the evolving military balance in the Asia-Pacific region.